Hi, I'm Tom Hutt with Public Health Dayton in Montgomery County. I'm out here today talking about our mosquito control program. A major part of our program is surveillance. And today we've set a gravid trap to attract and collect the Culex mosquito, which is responsible for the transmission of West Nile virus. This trap is baited with a hay infusion, which essentially smells like sewage water. The mosquito is attracted to the water and the fan sucks the mosquito up and into the trap. We count the mosquitoes and send them to the Ohio Department of Health laboratory for testing to determine if the mosquitoes are carrying West Nile virus. The uh, traps are set throughout the Montgomery County in various public parks and uh, recreational areas. The uh, Trapping is done from spring through fall and into where the first frost occurs. That is the mosquito season from spring until first frost. So we are conducting that surveillance throughout that time period. Our mosquitoes, uh, when we do collect a positive West Nile virus mosquito, we provide information to the public in the area that the mosquito was collected. We drop off uh, literature door to door to uh, uh, educate the public on the things they can do to protect themselves from exposure to mosquito bites. This specific trap is used to attract and collect the 80s mosquito, which is responsible for the transmission of the Zika virus. We just received these traps uh, this summer of summer of 2016, and we place these traps in areas where we believe there's standing water in containers, such as tires, uh, rain gutters, and, and such. This mosquito trap is baited with a lure which simulates uh, human sweat and the mosquitoes are attracted and sucked into the trap and we will collect and count those and identify the mosquito species to see if there are any uh, 80s mosquitoes, the Asian tiger mosquito specifically, that is responsible for the transmission of the Zika virus. The reason that we control mosquitoes and, and collect them for testing is that they do cause human illness such as West Nile virus and the Zika virus. That's why it's important to protect yourself from exposure to mosquitoes. Wearing long sleeves and long pants when you're outside, uh, avoiding the peak times of the day when mosquitoes are most active at dusk and dawn, and also using an EPA approved insect repellent such as DEET to uh, minimize your exposure to mosquitoes. Minimizing exposure to mosquitoes also includes minimizing where they're breeding. Standing water is an attraction to mosquitoes. Eliminating those standing water areas in your yard, such as uh, downspouts and rain gutters, uh, baby pools, bird baths, or anything that collects water needs to be emptied at least weekly to eliminate mosquito breeding and minimizing your exposure to mosquitoes. Another aspect of our mosquito control program is spraying for adult mosquitoes where we find uh, positive mosquitoes for West Nile virus. This activity is limited to areas in Montgomery County that contract with public health for this service. The mosquito is killed with an ultra low volume insecticide that is sprayed at night and is approved for use and is not a threat to human health or the environment. For more information on Public Health Dayton and Montgomery County's Mosquito Control Program, please go to our website at phdmc.org.